Diggins doesn't win, but a dream is finally realized in Minneapolis. In 2018, after taking gold in Pyeongchang, Jess Diggins' dream was to have a World Cup in Minneapolis. Today, that dream came true, four years after the event was cancelled due to the pandemic in 2020. The FAS kicked off its US visit with round 10 of 13 of the sprints. Diggins knew her chance was to come in the 10 free, but delighted the 15,000 fans by getting through to the final. Two-time winner this year, Rebom crashed out early. But Sundling, Svan and Shestat were always going to be the ones to beat. Despite winning the qualification, her first round and her semi-final, Sundling still looked strong. The longer, easier course seemed to suit her style and neither Svan nor Shestat found the extra gear for the last 150 metres. A brilliant win by Sundling. Svan in second hasn't been out of the top two since Ostersund and she's at eight out of nine podiums, Diggins having to satisfy herself with fourth place. Oh, it was a really fun day. Uh, I felt strong all the way, so uh, I'm really satisfied and happy with that. So Svan, 187 points, only three sprints to go. That crystal globe is pretty much in her hands. And Jess Diggins, likewise, 252, eight races left of the season. Avoiding illness, surely she is going to lift that globe for the second time. Something, though, the champion today for the first time in 2024. The two giants of men's World Cup sprinting met in the final. Pellegrino and Clairbo were joined by Taubol, Reebley, Northug and Dapra. Taubol set the pace with Clairbo and Pellegrino as they so often do, watching every move. A broken pole for Evan Nortug put him out of the equation. Reebley and Dapra were off the pace too. Taubol still led with 500 metres to go. Pellegrino was glued to the shadow of Clairbo, but ended up chasing shadows as the double Olympic champion opened his stride in the home straight to secure yet another win. That's his 77th, and the Norwegian superstar has three out of three sprint wins in North America. So Clebo in first, Pellegrino a good second place, Taubol third. Ah, it was uh, so much fun racing out there. I... I mean, with all the spectators here, and I think we need to come back here way more often than it is has been. <laughs> so Clebo moves ahead of Valness, who dropped 95 points today. In the overall, Amundsen a long way clear, over 300 points with eight races remaining. Clebo going from strength to strength. Well, it's a 10 kilometer freestyle time trial tomorrow, a course that is designed for Diggins.